This weekend, we're doing an exciting product. It's Grower's Cider. Now, Grower's Cider has um, been around since 1927, one of the premium cideries uh, in Canada, and just making some great products for many, many years. Natural flavors, um, just a wonderful product, and the number one uh, selling cider in the country not quite as sweet as some of the others that come over from Europe and all over the place and this is a domestic product so love it and get behind it and um, I think that you're gonna have a lot of success this weekend with this because being Easter cider is something that people are drinking now to drink that uh, is enjoyable to all it's kind of low in alcohol. It's about 5%, between 5 and 7. This one's about 5%. And um, also, uh, you can drink it as a sort of refreshing drink before uh, dinner. Some people might want to drink it during or even after uh, because the effervescence kind of give, you know, it's great for digestion after a big meal of turkey, ham, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to just show you how I think we should be tasting this product this weekend. Um, and, um, and also, I think we're going to be tasting this throughout the summer as well. And starting this weekend, but tasting it throughout the summer. So over the summer, the number one thing, refreshing. This is a refreshing drink. And enough acidity, like we've talked about in the past, enough acidity to sort of just give that clean feeling afterwards. So I would suggest that when we're, when we're pouring this, we do it two ways, uh, since it's only one product. One, the first, is going to be with a small ice cube. And just pour it over ice. And then have the client in front of you taste it. you'll quite enjoy. Of course, you don't taste it. You taste it beforehand, not during. The client is tasting. And then I would suggest that you serve it the second way, which is between. And cut these as you're going along and then sort of hand it, kind of like you're handing an hors d'oeuvre to somebody, a guest in your home. Then have them taste the apple. Mm. Love honey crisp. And then pour it neat. Mm, that's great. So what happens is the honey crisp apple, the acidity with the cider, at the end what you're left with is just a beautiful taste of honey crisp apple. Man, that's good. Enjoy the tasting and sell well. And this should be a winner. Cheers.